this is a large cardamom from as we can see there is a 50% shed maintenance here so uh, the large cardamom performs very well in 50% shed so we can see the sparse uh, trees are there and uh, this is how we cultivate large cardamom in Nagaland and uh, during this year 2021 there was a shortage of production in large cardamom because of uh, mainly one reason so the main reason is because of uh, the disease uh, which is caused by fungal disease Colotodrachum glycosperdis and we can see that it caused bleed the condition called bleed so this is a bleed syndrome we can see these this are bleed syndrome and right now this is December so the plants are the plants are looking very healthy but during uh, the month of January, February when it's very dry this plant start, started to wilt and it's just blotching like this and all the plants it used to wilt and the disease fungus disease lives in the soil when the soil the moisture contained in the soil is uh, very less the, uh, the fungus spreads very fast so during the February months during uh, January months this the, the, the soil the the soil moisture contained in this soil becomes very less because of dry season and the fungus spreads very fast and because of this repeat spread, spread of fungus the plants die the plants show symptoms such as like this it lodge and uh, it affects the production afterwards so the, when the fungus uh, you know affects the plant sits in the capsule doesn't form very, very well the fruits used to be uh, it used to be white in color and it have less chemical content less oil which we needed so how to you know what is the management we can do some culture management so some culture management are like this is a plant so we can take this this type of leaves and you know uh, put around like this so when these leaves are there the soil moisture in the uh, soil Used to, be, uh, used to be high so uh, the plant uh, can survive the fungal infection so this is one type of simple management and we can look in another management that is we have to maintain 50% shed area and there is again third type of management so when when we do uh, when we transport this sucker to another uh, to another farm for plantation we have to, you know, we have to, this is just a, uh, just say this is a sucker, okay. So, when we tr transfer this sucker to another farm for plantation, we have to soak this in chemical called copper oxychloride. So, if you dip in the chemical called copper oxychloride, the fungus infection won't go to the another farm. So, that is also one pre-treatment, one kind of pre-treatment that we, we have to practice. Uh, when we look into large cardamom, we can see that the main important thing is soil moisture. And soil moisture for where we get from rainfall. So rainfall, you know, this, this, uh, this days, like uh, because of climate change, you know, we get scarcity rain. Uh, the rains become the rain becomes so scarce uh, during the month of April, February. So during that uh, time, that. Uh, disease spreads very fast so there is always uh, there is al there is also a factor of climate change that is uh, playing in the role of uh, this production of large cardamom so it uh, the yield also depends on climate change and climate change is uh, not predictable during the month of uh, during the year in the coming years 2022 or 2023 uh, we can uh, we can see that new suckers new suckers are coming out here so uh, this year, 2022. I mean, in 2022, this production might not remain uh, remain same. Uh, that is very less shortage of production. But in 2023, these suckers will come up and the production will increase. So that's how the farmers are predicting. They're saying that these suckers are coming out. And after three years, these suckers will give new, new, you know, uh, new types of fruits. So the production in 2023 is predicted to be uh, increased. Let me repeat about this uh, fungal disease, uh, fungal uh, symptoms. So the symptom, which, why, why we call plate? 
PLI GST bleed is because of this burn like appearance. See, it, uh, it shows the symptoms of burn like appearance. See, it's like burnt. So, this is a symptom of uh, fungus disease called bleed, and it's caused by colloidal trichum glycosperdis. So, there's chemical control which we can spray copper oxychloride. Okay, let me also explain about some minor disease. Uh, not minor disease, minor pest, dead heart, dead heart disease. See, this is dead heart. The main, this one, it dies. See, this is dead heart. So uh, the main insect that cause, you know, this, uh, this uh, disease is, is this, uh, this stempor. See, we can see stempor. Yeah. See, this is a culprit. This is a uh, pest that is causing this dead heart. So we should all also, you know, remove these types of, you know, look for these symptoms and remove these types of uh, insects for better protection. Again, uh, there's another minor disease, uh, minor pest, not disease, minor pest, uh, which is leaf caterpillars. So we can see from here, this, this leaf caterpillars, presence of this remove this part and you know burnt uh, burn all this this is all this this all comes under phytosanitation so this disease part if you if possible we should remove all these disease parts and you know we should remove all these disease parts and uh, make it in a pile and uh, or in a pit and we should burn this uh, disease parts so uh, again, let me show you another another thing very important initially like when we uh, plant a large cardamom when it's One or two years old this sapling is one or two years old. So we'll we'll see these types of leaf, leaf spots So these types of leaf spots is uh, you know does not affect any uh, product, uh, Does not affect does not have any role in the production. So these types of leaf spots that's not, uh, it doesn't harm the plant so much. Large cardamom production is all about, you know, maintenance. And initially, when we do plantation, in the first two weeks, I mean, first month and second month, it's very important. We shall always try to look for disease parts, any symptoms of viral disease, any symptoms of fungal disease. We should always look all these uh, things in the farm, when we maintain the farm, and we should remove them. And not only remove them, but we should burn them. And burning is very important, we should burn them. And these types of leaves, we should, we should not burn these types of leaves. We should instead put these types of leaves in near the uh, clump. So there is a uh, presence of high content of uh, soil moisture here. So these are the simple methods in the large cardamom management. And